Coming up on this edition of Real to Real, we continue to showcase the amazing things happening in our school district. And we recap the first nine weeks of school and look ahead to what's next. Plus, we have the sports connection with Andrew Boyd and some weather with Sam Kunkel. All this and more coming up on our seventh live edition of Real to Real. This is Real to Real going live in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Real to Real. I'm Jared Owens, a junior from Coronado High School. And I'm Parker Haggard, also a junior from Coronado. Parker, let's start off the show by looking at some of the things going on in our district. Sure thing. We start off with the 43 Lubbock ISD high schoolers who were named National Merit Semifinalist and a National Condemned Scholar or a National Re Recognition Program Scholar. On top of this, they also recognize several staff members for their outstanding service and accomplishments. Congrats to all. And if you didn't know, this week is Texas School Safety Week. We're back in 2018. Lubbock ISD's bond package allowed us to make school safety a top priority across our district. As they built secure vestibule entries at every campus, and, a stu and as a student, I want to thank our district for making sure that my safety and my classmates' safety ranks high on their list. And keeping with uh, the week theme, this week is School Bus Safety Week. You know, they say, it starts with getting to school. And so, we want to say thank you to our wonderful team of school bus drivers who make our transportation services safe. And for the past month, we've been celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and we want to thank everyone who joined us in the celebration. And as a reminder, you can visit this website, our website, lubbockisd.org backslash Hispanic Heritage to continue the celebration of Hispanic culture all year long. Now, let's transition to our principals. It's National Principals Month, and a few of our Lubbock ISD TV staff members went and visited schools in the each feeder pattern and secretly interviewed staff members about their principal. And this week, we head over to Evans Middle School and Principal Justin Newman. My principal is Justin Newman. He is a great listener. It doesn't matter what he's got going on. If I need something, I can always knock on his door. He understands that we all have emotions. We all have lives. I can go talk to him about anything, anytime. I can ask him advice about anything. I think he would describe himself as just a small town boy from Dimmit, Texas. If he could wear a, a cowboy hat every day to school, he probably would. I think that helps create just kind of the small town feel of a pretty big school. He creates a really good community as far as he doesn't focus on one program specifically. Uh, it's Whether it's art, band, athletics, anything, he, he makes sure that he's out there and supporting them as much as possible. We can count on him at any point in time. We definitely all just love being a family here together. We're all Evans Eagles together. Very passionate, hardworking. He is calm under pressure. Cool, calm, and collected. But he also knows when it's time to have fun. He dressed up as Dwight Schrute and he came into my room really loud yelling, Michael! That sense of community makes us great teachers for our kids. My own child goes here and just because I feel like it's the greatest place to be. Happy National Principals Month. Happy National Principals Month. That's so awesome. You can tell that Mr. Newman is a rock star and is leading Evans Middle School to great things. For sure. And, a spe and speaking of great principals, this year, Coronado High School has a new principal. And I can tell you, he is a student favorite. And he's about to be a favorite for you, as we are about to be on the go with our superintendent, Dr. Rolo. Lubbock ISD family. It's hard to believe we're in the month of October, which we've heard our teachers lovingly call Shocktober, but it is a great time of year, fall festivals, all of the fun things. But most importantly, it's National Principals Month. Well, first, Chris, happy National Principals Month. Thank you. And thank you for having me today. Um, I know that 
you're new to Coronado this year as the principal, but you are not new to this role. No, Tell us how long you've been a principal in Lubbock ISD. In Lubbock ISD, I've been a principal 16 years. And then overall as a principal? 22 years. Wow, 22 years. Thank yes, you for serving in that leadership role for so long. But this is your first year at Coronado. Yes, ma'am. Um, I said earlier today to someone that the principal on the campus is really the glue. Does that resonate with you at all? It absolutely does. Tell me how. Well, so as a principal, what people on the outside often don't think about is how we work with teachers, the support that we provide teachers, the efforts that we make to make their quality of life good, to help them have what they need to reach kids. Everybody thinks that it's about our work with kids. And so I believe that visibility is really important. So I spend a lot of time working with the kids as well. And then as a principal, another key component is working with your community, the parents, and, and whoever else wants to be involved in your school. What role do you play in loving on teachers? Well, I think that my primary role is to help make their lives the best they can be in reaching their kids. So I try to be very supportive of teachers in a world that where teachers have too many demands on them. We try to have reasonable expectations in terms of Let's go reach our kids. That's the most important part. And the rest of it we'll figure out. Mm -hmm. You know, you're one of 50 amazing principals that we have in Lubbock ISD. What would you like to say to your colleagues? Well, it's such a great community of school leaders. And it's so cool knowing that, for example, I can pick up the phone and lean on people who have done amazing things and are leading schools like mine and have been very successful and have experiences that I've never had. Um, they're very supportive. They're amazing school leaders. They love on kids, they love on their staff. They're vital to our community and it's just really neat to be a part of that team. We have great schools in Lubbock ISD and we are making progress toward our North Star goal in our district only because we have great principals in our district to lead the way. Thank you all of our principals for what you do to nurture, develop and inspire every child every day. Great interview by Dr. Rolo. You know, Parker, we are 25% into the school year, and I have become a big fan of Mr. Huber. Me too. And as we wrap up the A block of the show, let's dive into some important dates that you need to know. On October 27th is the United We Read. Now, United We Read is where the United Way partners with Lubbock County School Districts and the, pro and the program volunteers visit the second grade classrooms to read books, lead crafts, and send every child home with a book copy. They do this to highlight the importance of students being grade level readers by the third grade to help prevent students from falling behind their peers. And then on November 10th, there's a board of trustees meeting and workshop. And finally, from Monday, November 21st through Friday, November 25th, students will have no school to celebrate the Thanksgiving holiday. Jared, crazy to think we are, le we are less than five weeks from Thanksgiving. Do you have any plans? Actually, Parker, I think we have some plans. Yeah, we're going to New Mexico to celebrate Turkey Day. And still to come, on the 8th edition of Real to Real, we head over to the Sports Connection with Angel Boyd. But first, recap the first nine weeks of the school for our class and start looking ahead. What's next for us? You'll just have to wait and see. That's next on Real to Real, only on Lubbock ISD TV. Here at the Fashion Design 3 class at Coronado High School, students prepare for their professional futures by learning necessary skills to enter the workforce. If you want to learn how your um, clothes are made, the value of fashion in society, the economic turn of fashion, you can take this class. You get to do lots of drawing, it's lots of creativity. Um, you learn things that you're going to be able to use for the rest of your life. For instance, how to sew on a button, how to do a zipper, um, what clothes look good on your body shape. But there's one student who plays a bigger role in this class than anybody. My relationship with Harley, um, well, I met him last year. <laughs> he's very loving, he's very caring, and he likes to, um, likes to be pet. Whenever like, we're, like, I'm feeling upset, he definitely makes me feel better. So 
no matter how like if I'm upset, mad, or I always leave this class with a smile. I think he adds some excitement to the class. Um, kids get really excited when they see a dog. They love him, and if I'm gone, nobody asks how I was when I was gone. They go, "How's Harley? Where's Harley? Why don't you have Harley here?" I mean, everybody loves Harley. Harley, this is going on his third year. Um, two years ago, he was just coming up occasionally, maybe once every other week. He's a therapy dog, which means he's here for the students. He's my dog, my personal dog. When he's up here, he's not my dog. He's Coronado's dog. Anybody, if they're having a rough day, just need some loving, can pet him, talk to him, and he hangs out in the classes. Um, he's just one of the students. He gets up on the table and sits with them. He'll go over to the couch and sit with him in passing periods. We go out in the hall so he can see everybody. I think he's brought a lot of happiness to the class. For Lubbock ISD TV, I'm Bella Christadulu. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bella Very Good. Today, I'm gonna to be filling you in on the latest classroom gossip in our audio video class. Bella, so come on. Bella is really into her YouTube channel and personal projects. Maybe just a little bit too much. In three, two, one. Bella, you're on. Okay guys, so I'm literally behind the scenes. This is our set. I'm obsessed. Bella. I love our school. Jared, crazy think we're through the first nine weeks of school and officially 25% way done with our junior year. Yeah, I guess it's like the old saying, time flies when you're having fun. And speaking of fun, we have done a lot of fun things to start the year. Yeah, and let's show off what we have done. We have done nine episodes of Real to Real and four episodes of Generation Podcast. And in terms of projects, we've gone back to our former schools to tell a story. We've also gotten to spotlight extracurricular classes. Plus, we went to the South Plains Fair to tell some stories. And now, we're working on the Student Television Network Horror Fest films. And you know what, Parker? You know what would be really cool? What's that, Jared? If we go back and showcase some of our best work from a few of those projects. I agree. And I think we start with our extracurricular project. Sure. We had tons of great stories turned in, and it was hard to pick one. But we're going to go with Isaac Contreras, as he did player spotlight for Monterey football. The state of Texas has over 100 high school football teams in the state. But one team, Monterey Plainsman, has a special guy who they can always rely on. Number 12, Jaden Hibbler. Uh, he's a well-versed player, you know, he can catch the ball out of the backfield and he can, you know, run the ball obviously pretty well and, uh, you know, that's probably his co contribution to the team. Jaden Hibbler has been Monterey's running back since he was a freshman and has over a thousand yards accumulated from his three years being there. However, football to Jaden is much more than running the ball and scoring touchdowns. Uh, yeah, I've been playing football since I was about five years old. I've been growing up playing football. I've just been running through the family and football, it just gets gets a lot of things off my mind. It just, you know, it distracts me from, football, from school and it just gets my mind on football. That's it. While many people may not see the connection Hibbler makes with his teammates and only see him as the one who carries the team, Hibbler has something different to say on the matter. Uh, it's just, I mean, I don't really wouldn't say I make an impact, it's just we all make an impact as a team. I mean, team, football is a team sport, you gotta have 11 men on the field, you gotta have 11 men to the ball at it all times, and you just gotta play as a team. Great story, and it was really cool going down memory lane with you. Me too, but what's next? Well, this October, the Student Television Network gave our students a prompt for a 60 second horror film involving three separate parameters. The film had to have a box, have the phrase, don't be scared, just come with me, and had to have negative space, which is a film technique where the main subject, which is in frame, has wasted space around itself. Yeah, and these prompts have produced some stellar films by these students, and will be shown in the next two episodes of Real to Real, so stay tuned. Of course, of course, if our films are good enough, you may be able to see them on the STN Winners Announcement on their YouTube channel. And we just got done making our film, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Me either. Of course, we have some shows on Lubbock ISD TV that we want to preview, but because those shows are about to showcase some cool stuff. And the first one is our new show called Inspire. The show will start next week, where Mr. Rush, 
went and did a feature story on us calling football games. This was something that Mr. Ward started last year, and so here's a short preview of the, of the feature story called T Making the Call. Last year, when all these opportunities arose, of course, Mr. Ward told me, he's like, hey, um, I want you to be up here. And I was like, you know, I was a little iffy at first, but you just got to open your mind to new experiences. I think that's how we're going to grow as people in whatever we do. So I took it and ever since, man, I've just enjoyed it. I try to be up here as much as I can. I feel like it's just like the rush. Like you just know that like people are listening to you. And I know a lot of people don't like doing that, which is why it's kind of weird to me why I enjoy it so much. But um, it's just like having a conversation, being able to talk about something that I like watching, you know, just like, because I still say the thoughts in my head, even if like I was just sitting at home watching the game. So um, just being able to like talk, kind of um, have that relationship with Mr. Ward and all of everybody else. I don't know, it just, it's just really fun to me. For the Westerner touchdown. Awesome stuff there, Jared. And I can't wait to see the whole thing. It's pretty good. And we've both been in the booth calling games. It's a pretty special opportunity. It really is. And we'd have one more show to preview. Yes, Mr. Reimer has a show called On the Road, where we go to a specific school and tell their stories. And for this month, we head over to Hardwick Elementary. Let's take a look. While I'm reading the story, what are you guys going to do? To play. You're going to? Listening. And you're going to keep a? Bubble. Mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah. SEL is really important, especially with our younger students, because we're teaching them not only what their emotions are and how to deal with them, but also how to deal with those emotions in social situations with themselves and others. Hmm, I wonder why the color monster is all mixed up. Can you tell he's mixed up? Because because that that sister's too mad at him. I taught elementary at the beginning of my career and I noticed how much it has changed. And as I went through my career, I noticed how much kids were having a harder and harder time not only expressing them themselves verbally but also emotionally and how to deal with those things and so I knew that if I could reach kids the younger they are the more successful they will be as they grow through our school systems and through our community and learning how to be a successful member to society and to their schools. My favorite thing about SEL is that you get to collaborate and show and share what you feel in a private space. I think it's important because some kids don't know how to control their moods or don't know how to control their feelings to where maybe they'll do something drastic that will maybe change their life. So I think it's better for LCL to be in every school district because um, other kids can learn how to control and problem solve without having to uh, be aggressive. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Show me your anger, your red color monster, oh no. When you feel that way, can you scream and yell and stomp? No. No. I could talk up to Miss Brewer about like um, how I was feeling and stuff, and I like that. Um, my favorite thing is about LCL is because I can um, talk to Miss Brewer and she'll keep it. Like she won't go tell the other people, like she'll keep it in this room. We pull about 30 kids for social skills group, which is a great number. We're able to pull them by either the skills they need to work on or the grade level they are, or um, sometimes just in small groups and we're able to work with them on things like how to make a friend, how to communicate your needs. We do lessons on like how to lose, so we play lots of games and we learn with how to lose and how to win successfully. Oh, you already turned it over! I think the most important part about this job is really teaching the students, the teachers, and all the staff about how important relationships are and how when we really get to know each student, each staff member, we're able to use what we know and help face problems or face struggles with things that work uniquely for that person. And I think having SEL and having someone who can come in and help do that with all your teachers and kids is so important. 
Wow, I love how Mr. Reimer films his stories. The colors, the lights, and how everything is framed, it's just beautiful. For real, and speaking of beautiful, the weather has been looking really nice lately. It has, and so with that, let's go over to our man, Sam Kunkel at the Weather Shed. Sam, how does the weather look this week? Well guys, for this weekend, it's gonna be a bit warm here in the Hub City. We've got temperatures in the high 80s and lower 40s and 50s, so we're finally getting closer to that brisk fall weather that we've been looking forward to. Uh, last week, we managed to get some rainfall, but this weekend, excluding Monday, doesn't seem to be as adventurous, as we'll be getting some drier, colder winds at speeds holding in the teens. But this Monday, uh, we are going to have some afternoon showers, if we're lucky, uh, on the docket for the 24th, where temperatures will then dip a bit and have a 40% chance of rain, and that might carry over a bit into Tuesday morning with a 20% chance, if we're lucky, in the early hours. But it'll be clear out for a sunny day in the afternoon. Now, let's take a look at our game day forecast for the Plainsmen and Pirates duel tonight. Luckily, it'll be relatively warm for football fans tonight as it's estimated to be around a nice 75 degrees and it'll slowly go down as the evening progresses. So go Plainsmen. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next week's extended forecast. Um, we'll have some highs in the low 70s and upper 40s, but things will be a little interesting next Friday as we'll have another dip in temperatures. So guys, Looking ahead, one of my favorite things about the fall kind of weather is getting to spend time with my family, especially in a fireplace. And with this kind of weather starting to get a little uh, brisker and colder, I will uh, feel like I'll be getting to do that sometime soon. Can't go wrong with a fire in the fireplace. Thank you, Sam. Hey, before we let you go, we know you want to talk about Hurricane Ian relief. Yes, um, it's been almost a month since Hurricane Ian hit uh, Florida, but a lot of people still are in need of great help. So search out to Hurricane Ian relief or the internet and do what you can, because there are some people that still need help. I agree. Thank you, Sam. Yes, and still come on this edition of Real to Real, we keep it real with Mr. Ward. But first, we have the Sports Connection as we debut a new segment. You won't want to miss that right after this short commercial break. Hey, great show there, Jared. Hey, rumor has it that you're looking for a TV anchor bobblehead. Why? Look, that's the top priority on my list and my classmates' list, is to be so good that they make us into a TV anchor bobblehead. I mean, is there anything else you guys might want? I, I mean, it might be a little hard to come by. You know, I still haven't been named an all-star on-air personality by our fans. You deserve it! Yeah, I appreciate that. But everyone's situation is different. I'll get there eventually. Okay, calm down, buddy. I'm sorry, Jared, but doesn't that make you upset? Yeah, uh, a little bit, but I'll let my track record speak for itself. Booyah, baby! If I keep going out there and being the best that I can be, I'll get there. I just gotta leave no doubt that I am an on-air all-star personality. That's what I'm talking about. Lubbock ISD TV, our fans can always check out the highlights of all our shows and sports broadcasts by following our social media. Super fans can get even more access by watching live streams, video on demand, and more on our website. And for our fanatics who still can't get enough of Lubbock ISD TV, we have uncut footage of Caleb Galbraith making a sandwich just for you. Keep up to date with all things Lubbock ISD TV on all our platforms. I just work here. Welcome back to Riddle Real. I'm Angel Boyd with Deer Sports Connection. John Wooden once said, it's not so important who starts the game, but who finishes it. And Estacado finished strong with the Sports Connection Play of the Week. Let's take a look. Estacado. High snap, Boyd throwing it up, trying to get to the, oh, and is oh, it caught? It's caught. He caught it, touchdown Matadors. DeVorier Boyd steps in front of the defender and scores. Oh my gosh, what a play, what a pass. Everybody and on catch. the sideline with their hands looking to see if it's a touchdown. Let's look at this instant replay. All the coaches are on the field saying it's a score. That looks good to me. 
the official right there. You see Mike Meeks on the sideline saying it's a catch. And that's it. The Matadors win. The Matadors win. Let me say it again. The Matadors win. And an overtime thriller on fourth and 10. DJ Johnson throws it up on a prayer. And DeVorier Boyd answers. We said he needed to have a big game. And yep. that's the play to seal it. Exactly. That's what we've been waiting for all night. It's a sea of blue across the field. Everyone's pumping their fists, jumping up in excitement. That's exactly how we wanted this to end. Congrats to the Matadors on the win. And keeping it on the gridiron, Hub City Preps honored one of our own, Coronado head coach, DJ Mann, as he was named Coach of the Week after the hard-fought win over the Amarillo High Sandies. Look out for the story on HubCityPreps.com. Also, be on the lookout for Bally Sports TXHS feature on Coach Mann where he talks about it means to be the head coach at his alma mater and the chance he was given to coach his son in his senior year. Keeping it in the Cornardo feeder pattern, check out this elite one-handed catch caught by trade thrown by David Bauckham. Looks even better in slow motion. Congrats to the Iron Cougars for making the reel-to-reel -reel highlight reel. And if you have videos of some amazing plays around LISD, send them our way on any of our special media platforms because we love to put them in the highlight reel. And going over to the hardwood basketball season is about to tip off. And there's a lot of excitement as we take a slam dunk into this year's season. And early on, some of our teams find themselves state ranked as the Monterey Lady Plainsmen are ranked 12th in the state and the Estacado Matadors are ranked 24th according to the TABC hoops and of course we will be broadcasting these teams and other schools after Christmas break. And finally we have some great news for the Monterey cross country team as they have won the 2022 district for class 5A district championship. As we see in the picture it shows it all the team celebrating rocking their pink and we want to say Congrats to them. And guys, the videographer and me loves the camera angle in this picture. That is so true. Thank you so much, Angel. And still to come on the, the live edition of Real to Real, we put a bow on the show with Mr. Ward keeping it real. What does he have to say this week? Well, we'll wait and see right after this short commercial break. Hey, yo. Guess what day it is, huh? Come on, Sienna, guess what day it is. Ty Tuesday. No. Come on, Lily, you gotta know what day it is. Game day. What, what? How happy are Lubbock ISD fans every time we take a broadcast? I'd say happier than Mr. Ward on game day. Game day, yeah! Welcome back to Real to Real, only on Lubbock ISD TV. Like you've heard on this newscast probably half a dozen times, we're officially 25% done with the school year, as today is day 45 of school. And it's honestly crazy to me how much my students in my class have done so far. You see, we have done, after this show, officially four episodes of Generation Podcast and nine episodes of Real to Real. And what's crazy to me is that we hit episode nine of this show last year in early February. Of course, right now it's October 21st, and that's no slight to last year's students because they were really good. It's because we've tripled the number of students in my class this year. And we've also tripled the expectations. You see, by being able to do a weekly live show, it shows how hard these students are working and how hard they're willing to work. And we, we have done so much so far as this school year's gotten going. We've actually gotten many compliments about this show on how well this show's been doing, and you love to see it. But with those compliments comes high expectations. And with three quarters of the school year to go, I'm looking forward to seeing how my students, your students, continue to step up. Now it's me, Mr. Ward, keeping it real, only on Real to Real. I'll send it back to our team of four at the desk.
And that's going to do it for today's show. Yes, and we want to thank you for the time this time. Our afternoon class looks forward to bringing you more next week. But until then, we hope you stay happy and healthy. This has been a production of the students and staff at Lubbock ISD TV.